life. Doesn't it happen very fast? I mean, today we have cell phones, text messaging, AIM, MySpace, email, television, nights out with your friends, church. Life moves at a very fast pace and you and I live in it every day. But you know, there are moments in life where life simply seems to stop. You know, Trey grew up in the same world as you with cell phones and text messaging and AIM and MySpace and videos and video games, the high technology world that exists today. I would imagine that he walked the same hallways that many of you have walked at school. He rode the same roads here in Katy that many of you have ridden. Maybe some of you even knew Trey. But I would imagine that Trey probably didn't know that 2006 would be his last year upon the earth. Unfortunately, we live in a world where a man became disobedient to God, sinning against him. And the penalty for that sin is death. Death has entered the world, and according to the Bible, all of us will die. James says it this way, that life is a vapor, that we are here only for a little while, and then we vanish. In the Word of God, Hebrews 9.27 says that all of us will die once and after this face the judgment of God. You know, many of us may think about death often. Many of us may not think about it at all. The truth is the Word of God is very clear when it comes to death. In Ecclesiastes 7.4, it says, The heart of the wise thinks much about death, but the fool only concerns himself with being happy right now. You know, when you come to a cemetery such as this one, most of the time the thing you notice are the two dates on a tombstone. The first, of course, represents your date of birth, and then the last represents the day that you left the earth. What's unique about the tombstone is that is not the most important thing on the tombstone. In fact, the most important thing is one of the smallest markings. It is the dash between the two dates. The dash represents life. It represents where you and I are today. The question is not whether we will die, but rather how we will live. How will we live? You know, the dash represents things about us. It's in the dash that we're a son. It's in the dash that maybe we're a daughter, maybe a friend to others. As I look around the cemetery, I see many pictures of people in sports uniforms or dancers. I see little baby girls who live to the age of six years old. Hopes and dreams upon the earth gone in a flash because life is just a dash, it's a vapor. What will your dash say about you? Will it say that you were obedient to God at all cost? Will it say that you led people to Jesus Christ so that their dash didn't end here on earth but continued for all eternity? Will your dash say that you made a difference in this world? There are many dashes here in the earth, many dashes on these tombstones around me, but all of them tell a story. The question is for you, what story will yours tell?